Greetings to you all. Uh, this is uh, Sean, and um, I'm going to be uh, talking about how to uh, do the uh, Celtic cross tarot spread reading. Now, um, this is a, a very uh, common uh, spread used by uh, tarot readers. It can uh, reveal a lot of uh, information about a uh, particular uh, situation that the uh, querent has. Um, um, before I uh, get into uh, the reading as a demonstration, I'm going to uh, reveal what the uh, position of each card represents. So uh, right here, this is um, the uh, current situation of uh, the querent, uh, where he or she is at the present time. And this card that's overlapping this, this is the uh, challenge that is um, preventing um, him or her uh, accomplishing uh, their goals. And this card right here, this represents the uh, past, uh, past influences that um, are being called to the uh, surface. And uh, this card right here represents the future, uh, what uh, will possibly uh, happen in the near future, say like in a couple weeks or in a month or so. And this uh, card right here, this is, represents the Aquarius uh, conscious mind. Um, these are the uh, goals that uh, the Aquarius uh, uh, has, is thinking of, and uh, wants to accomplish. And this position, position right here, uh, this represents the Aquarius uh, unconscious mind. Uh, there could be uh, several factors at play where... Uh, the uh, current isn't uh, fully aware of, and yet they're uh, going to uh, play a big role in uh, his or her life. And in this position here, this is uh, what uh, the uh, current has within them. They are, th it's uh, what they're uh, thinking of, uh, what they want to um, achieve, and um, how they uh, most readily see themselves. And this uh, position right here, this is uh, external factors. Uh, this uh, represents the uh, current external environment, um, representing uh, friends, uh, family, um, work, um, just uh, their uh, surrounding environment. Now this uh, card right here, this represents the uh, current's hopes and fears. Um, this is one of the harder cards to uh, interpret as uh, the current uh, has a lot of uh, aspirations and uh, fears that um, playing a role in uh, their particular uh, situation. And last but not least, this here is the uh, final outcome. Um, this is what will uh, eventually uh, turn out to be. Um, if uh, the, pre the current uh, sticks to their uh, present course. So, um, let's get into the uh, reading. I have uh, formulated a uh, hypothetical question, a uh, very generic one. And um, the question I'm going to ask is, um, it will um, the uh, next cell phone carrier that uh, one wants to uh, move on to uh, be the right choice for him or her. Uh, in other words, they're looking to uh, upgrade their um, cell phone service and uh, would it be a good idea for them to uh, switch to another provider or stick to the current one they have? Okay, so um, without further ado, let's uh, get into the reading. So I'll start with the uh, present situation. Oh yes, we got the uh, Six of Swords. So, um, the, from what I can uh, see here, um, the uh, Querent uh, has been uh, with their present provider for a long time, and um, they're looking to um, move on to uh, more pleasant experiences. Uh, they've uh, enjoyed their uh, phone for um, the past little while, two years, uh, but uh, he does notice that uh, there are um, greener pastures uh, in the horizon, meaning um, more advanced cell phones, uh, better deals, better promotions, 
And um, this, the Six of Swords, is a very uh, intellectual card um, with the swords representing a communication and thought. So um, this, in this sense, the um, current is thinking about moving on to uh, better pastures. And uh, this is where um, the Six of Swords come into play. Um, yes, this, uh, these uh, two uh, individuals here, uh, this could represent uh, the uh, customer himself who wants to uh, make a switch. So there it is. Now, uh, what could uh, potentially be uh, preventing him from making that switch? Uh, yes, the uh, Five of Swords. Um, lots of uh, competition at play. That's what you can find. You could expect with uh, all these uh, cell phone providers. Um, they uh, want to um, fight to um, gain uh, every customer's uh, customer's business. Um, they a lot of these companies can be uh, quite ruthless and uh, relentless in uh, promoting their uh, products. Um, yeah, and at times, uh, customer service can uh, really be uh, deceitful and uh, relentless in um, providing, um, uh, providing the uh, best satisfaction for uh, their customers. You could say, uh, in this sense, the Five of Swords, uh, it represents... Um, competition, aggression, uh, winning at all costs. Um, and so uh, because of this uh, cutthroat competition, these figures here who are walking away from this uh, individual who uh, is gazing upon them so uh, arrogantly, um, this could represent the customer um, being um, lost and confused and deflated, uh, just not knowing uh, where to go. So, um, yes, there it is. And maybe let's take a look at their past situation. Oh, the Ace of Swords. Um, now, the Ace of Swords, that represents uh, new ideas uh, coming into play, uh, new thoughts, new um, creativity, uh, new ideas. So, um, in this... I guess I would say in this uh, sense, before um, the customer's uh, contract was up, um, they had new ideas of uh, what kind of uh, service they wanted. Uh, they um, have always uh, had excellent uh, communication, um, using their cell phone, uh, great service. I mean... Uh, with cell phones uh, having the ability to access the internet and uh, having uh, the ability to, you have the ability to uh, use it as a telephone, of course. Um, this generates a lot of uh, ideas and uh, you'll be able to uh, communicate with uh, many other people. Um, you can, um, I guess in this is the customer wants to, uh, was looking at, at new uh, providers um, in the past, um, taking determining uh, what uh, kind of I new ideas he could have in um, having a newer cell phone with uh, uh, better uh, ref refresh rates, um, better um, clarity over the uh, phones. Um, just faster service, um, with, and with a faster service, uh, coming, uh, faster, uh, connectivity, uh, uh, the res the ability to, uh, respond more, uh, quickly to, um, family and friends on, um, Facebook messenger, um, that sort of a thing. And, um, with the, uh, advent of 5G technology, um, this uh, could uh, give uh, the customer, this sort of gave the customer ideas uh, of uh, how to um, 
communicate with the family and friends even faster. So that's that. And um, this here, the future card, let's see. Ooh, the King of Pentacles, yes. So um, I would say if the customer were to decide, decided to upgrade their uh, service, they um, would be able to uh, get excellent deals. Um, whoever they turn to as their next carrier could potentially um, give them the royal treatment. Um, they could um, pretty much treat the uh, customer like royalty because you know how um, the competition is. Um, they are just uh, fighting for uh, one's uh, business, as you can uh, see here in the Five of Swords. So um, the customer uh, wants to take advantage of any uh, new uh, opportunities that come their way. And um, just um, if they, I, I think if um, the customer was able to make the switch, um, they could expect to be uh, given the royal treatment by uh, customer service um, because as you know um, new cell, these cell phone companies they want to attract uh, new uh, customers all the time and uh, they'll uh, offer sweet incentives like uh, discounts um, uh, so many uh, gigabytes of uh, memory um, yeah, so um, case in point, my uh, girlfriend just she just upgraded to a uh, new cell phone service and uh, she got an excellent deal. And so I would say she, in that that sense, she was uh, very much treated like royalty. So um, yeah, there it is. And um, let's take a look at what's uh, going on inside the uh, conscious mind of the querent. Oh yes, the Three of Cups. So I would say um, they uh, are quite consciously uh, thrilled to um, take uh, the initiatives uh, to um, look into uh, upgrading their uh, service. Um, they uh, want to um, look forward to uh, take to uh, take talk to um, their friends um, and uh, acquaintances from around the world with uh, the internet uh, being uh, representing the um, close-knit uh, ties of uh, the entire world, how uh, the, the uh, world is uh, shrinking down and we're all getting uh, interconnected. And so he, want, he wants to uh, celebrate more in this uh, interconnectedness of the uh, World Wide Web. Um, yeah, he uh, wants to um, be able to uh, celebrate um, having uh, the uh, excellent service that uh, his new uh, cell phone will provide. So um, he'll just have a wonderful old time, or at least he wants to. Um, so, but, but um, what are, are some of the uh, underlying uh, factors affecting him. Oh yes, in the uh, unconscious mind, uh, we do see the uh, Five of Swords. Uh, you know, um, just um, once again, it, it, competition. Uh, this card is very similar to uh, that of the Five of Swords, only um, there's more, um, you know, um, uh, I guess I could say horseplay. Um, it's uh, competition, but not as uh, brutal to the extent of the, of the Five of Swords. And it's a very uh, interesting that uh, the five, both the Five of Swords and uh, the Five of uh, Wands came up in this reading. Because uh, there is very much the element of uh, competition in this reading. Uh, because you know how uh, cell phone companies are. So I guess... Um, in this sense, uh, what's going on in the uh, unconscious mind of the Aquarian is that uh, he he uh, is aware of uh, so many uh, competitors out there and uh, what they have to offer. 
and uh, they'll just uh, basically um, wrestle for one's business. And um, yeah, he may have a hard time deciding which uh, deals are right for him, which kind of phone is right for him, whether he should upgrade to 5G or just uh, stick with the uh, 4G LTE advanced um, internet connectivity that he has. So um, yeah, a lot of variables at play. So, um, what is uh, going on within the uh, current? Uh, how is he uh, thinking of this uh, whole situation so far? Yeah, yeah, the uh, Four of Cups. So, um, yeah, the Four of Cups, it uh, represents uh, a choice as uh, of a hand from uh, out from the outside universe is presenting him with the uh, cup and, and you notice how the cups are empty and the boy here is uh, sitting in meditation uh, he's contemplating so uh, in this sense um, he has the uh, current has a lot of uh, contemplating to do um, he uh, may have to take uh, some time to uh, think about uh, what kind of uh, offers are uh, best for him or whether or not he should uh, upgrade his uh, service at all. Um, yeah, a lot of uh, variables at play and um, this uh, could also affect him emotionally since uh, cups represent emotions. And um, yeah, if he does decide to uh, upgrade his service, uh, yeah, um, it may uh, be a wonderful thing, or um, he could um, be uh, regretting it. But um, if you don't take a chance, uh, you'll never know uh, what you'll what you'll miss, what you'll be able to take advantage of. So there it is. And uh, what are the some of the external factors at play regarding the situation? Ooh, the Eight of Cups. Um, so, um, in this sense, uh, the Eight of Cups represents uh, moving away from uh, one situation, uh, moving away from uh, what no longer serves you. Um, so, I guess external factors include uh, his uh, physical cell phone that he has already. Um, it's been uh, good to him, uh, yet um, it... It's not as advanced as uh, the uh, newer phones that are available on the market. And um, he, may, if the customer wants to uh, make the uh, switch, he uh, may have to um, let go of uh, some of that security of uh, fulfilling the uh, obligations of his uh, current contract and uh, moving on to... Uh, a new uh, obligation for at least another two years. Um, I'm not sure uh, where some of you are located, but uh, personally, I'm in Canada, and uh, here um, our uh, cell phone uh, contracts are valid for two years. And uh, once those uh, two years are up, uh, you have the uh, option of uh, turning in your phone or um, I know with uh, some of these uh, 5G phones that are coming out, once uh, the two years are up on those, you'll have to uh, pay an additional fee of like uh, three or $400 or so just to keep that uh, cell phone. So um, yeah, um, I guess in this sense, uh, the current has uh, de developed so much emotional attachment to his uh, current uh, service and and a cell phone that uh, he'll have to move away, um, get used to um, having a new cell phone or uh, even a new uh, cell phone carrier. So, and uh, the hopes of and fears. Ah, yes, the Ten of Pentacles. <laughs> so he hopes to um, enjoy uh, the uh, immense abundance 
and um, richness of his uh, new cell phone. Um, he uh, wants to uh, enjoy life's uh, pleasures and uh, comfort to the max uh, with um, the high-speed internet access that uh, his next cell phone will provide. Um, he'll be uh, able to, he'll want to, uh, he'll hope to uh, enjoy um, the uh, comforts of uh, having the worldwide uh, web is at his fingertips and high quality service and um, just uh, enjoying uh, the uh, deals that um, customer service here in this position basically all uh, equate the uh, this future card the king of pentacles with um, the uh, king representing the customer himself um, King, uh, this the King of Pentacles. That's a, a court card, and court cards uh, can represent uh, people in your life. And uh, in this sense, uh, I'll equate this uh, King to the customer himself. So he'll uh, hope to um, the customer will hope to uh, live in uh, prosperity and abundance with the new the new cell phone that he has. Now, as for uh, the hopes and fears. Uh, Excuse me, rather, the uh, final outcome of the situation. Ah, yes, look at that. The Ten of Cups. <laughs> He'll be uh, able to uh, live happily after, ever after with uh, his new cell phone. Um, yes, uh, he'll be dancing for joy, uh, looking at upon the uh, rainbow with glee, with uh, incredible happiness. So, yeah, I would say... This um, current is going to be uh, quite uh, happy with this uh, new uh, cell phone. Um, yeah, the Ten of Cups, that's probably one of the greatest cards in the entire tarot deck. And it's just, just I just love um, the sight of this. It's just such a, a card radiating with immense happiness and joy. So, yeah, there is no question that... Um, in the opinion, in my opinion, the uh, current will uh, have incredible joy with uh, his or her new uh, cell phone uh, carrier and provider. Yeah, just wow! Look at this. Now, when I uh, take a look at this uh, Celtic cross reading in broader detail, I can see that there are two um, tens. Um, the Ten of Cups and the uh, Ten of Pentacles. Ten, uh, ten cards represent uh, completion of cycles. And um, yes, um, I would say uh, this uh, new cell phone will provide him with uh, such happy closure. Uh, a new beginning towards uh, greater excitement and joy. And yeah, I mean, just look at this. Um, the Ten of Cups and uh, the Three of Cups. And uh, they say that, it said that uh, in a Celtic cross reading, you have to take a look at these two cards right here, how they uh, interact and interplay with each other. Yeah, just look at that. Joy, incredible happiness. Just, um, yeah. And, yeah. I would say... Since the customer is looking on forward to uh, looking on to uh, greater uh, pastures, indeed, just uh, seeing the overall uh, scope of this uh, reading, he will move on to uh, greener pastures. Indeed, I would say the only um, challenge that he has is to uh, deal uh, with the competition uh, with uh, the uh, cell phone providers out there that are just vying for his business. But um, I don't think uh, that'll be a problem. He'll be able, he'll be able to uh, move away. Um, see, the uh, Six of Swords and uh, the uh, Eight of Cups, they have to do with uh, walking away from a particular situation, just uh, running away from no, what no longer serves. 
and um, with the uh, right uh, contemplation here, as you can see with the uh, fourth cups card, um, yeah, I would say the uh, customer just the coin just needs uh, some time to think about the situation, but eventually he'll be able to uh, make the right choice. Yeah, and uh, it will be such a wonderful choice. Well, just what an awesome reading. Yeah. So um, there it is. This is just my uh, demonstration of the uh, Celtic Cross uh, reading. Um, if you uh, have any uh, questions or uh, comments, please address them in the uh, comment section below. And um, yeah, and uh, I do thank you for uh, watching this uh, video. And uh, well, this I certainly had uh, great fun uh, producing this and uh, explaining this to you as well. So yeah, um, here it is the uh, Celtic Cross. Um, Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. God bless you. Take care. Bye.